Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and today we're going to be doing more scroll saw work. We're going to be cutting out a shark. And this pattern was designed by Steve Good. It is a free download available at his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Now, the pattern calls for three quarter inch thick wood, but instead of making this a, a standing thing, it's supposed to be something you make to like stand on a desk or a mantle or something like that. I'm going to make it where I can hang it on the wall. I'm going to cut out two at a time, so that means I'm going to be doing stack cutting. So, I've got a couple pieces here of Luan plywood that is about a quarter inch thick. I'm going to attach the pattern. I think I'm just going to use clear packing tape on it and head to the next step. Okay, I have the pattern attached to the Luan plywood with clear packing tape. Clear packing tape helps lubricate the scroll saw blade since it runs at such a high speed. I've stacked the two pieces of Luan plywood together with these little brad nails, being careful not to let them come all the way through the wood. And if they do poke through, I'm just taking my little hammer here and you know, flattening the heads of them, and that kind of actually locks the nail onto the wood and keeps it from moving around. But now I'm going to go over to the drill press and drill all my starter holes, and we'll start scrolling. Okay, here we are drilling the pilot holes for this over at the drill press. Um, not very many interior cuts on this project, but still a few to keep you busy. Over here at my Delta Shopmaster scroll saw, I have all my pilot holes drilled. I have my blade threaded through one of the pilot holes ready to begin the interior cuts on this project. I'm using sharp tooth number five reverse tooth scroll saw blades to cut out this sharp project. Thought that was kind of neat. When you're doing stack cutting, you want to make sure that your blade and your table is again aligned at a perfect 90 degree angle. If not, both of the pieces that come out of this project will not be complete mirror images of each other, meaning one will be slightly off-center. You might have one slightly bigger, slightly smaller. So do a couple test cuts and make sure your blade is at a perfect 90 degree angle. But let's get this project started and we're going to begin cutting. Here we are beginning our scroll work on this project, beginning with the interior cuts. With about every scroll saw project, you're going to always want to do your interior cutting first. Um, take it slow and steady. There's no rush. Um, let the blade do the work. Um, what I love about the shark tooth scroll saw blades I've been ordering is they cut wood extremely smooth. And this Luan plywood I'm using here cuts real well. It cuts real smooth. I'm not saying it cuts fast, but it cuts smooth. And I'm just taking my time here. I've got the music going in the shop and I'm just taking my time enjoying my hobby of scroll saw work. Um, this is not a very complicated project. It's not what is called a fretwork project with hundreds upon hundreds of interior cuts, but it's got enough to give it some beautiful detail. Steve Good is an amazing designer when it comes to scroll saw work. As soon as I seen him upload this pattern to his website, I was like, yeah, this is something I'm going to have to cut out. But again, I'm just taking my time here um, doing all of the interior cutting and just relaxing with it. Um, I'm not trying to force the wood. Um, and especially, that is very key when doing stack cutting. Do not try to force the wood into the blade or with any scroll saw project, but especially stack cutting because the blade can bend slightly while cutting and you will end up with pieces that are not mirror image when you finally release the wood from the saw. But I think I'm about to finish up here with my interior cutting and then I'm gonna go get ready to do the final outside cut of this project and release the shark from the wood. Okay, all of my interior cuts are done on this project. My final cut will be to go around the outside and release this from the rest of the wood. Again, Steve Good designed this project 
to be cut out of three quarter inch wood and had a have a base put on it to where it can stand on a desk or a counter or something like that and be displayed like that I want to hang mine on the wall because I don't have a nice desk or counter space like that to display it the way it was designed to be displayed so what I'm going to do this here was supposed to be an interior cut this was this was all these other big areas were so what I'm going to do is take my straight edge here line it up best I can and draw lines to where each of these letters will be individual. There we go. So I'm not even going to cut this part which is the base. So now I have one long continuous cut. I have a pilot hole here to start. Um, when stack cutting it's best not to come in and continue your final cut is best to actually drill a pilot hole and then start it just makes the wood a lot more stable but I'm gonna come in here at my pilot hole and just go around the border and this will be one very long continuous cut let's go do that and release this shark from the wood here we are now beginning our final cut which will release the shark from the wood um, it is one very, very long, continuous cut. Um, again, taking my time, letting the blade do the work. Um, you will see here in a second, um, I have a fan that you can't see here, but I got a fan that's blowing on me, and it'll catch the pattern there it went, and trying to lift the pattern off. Um, if I was using spray adhesive, it wouldn't do that but I did not see the need to use spray adhesive on this project because it did not have a lot of interior cuts and all. If it was something like a fretwork project with hundreds of interior cuts I would have used spray adhesive to um, really keep the pattern attached to the wood but clear packing tape worked great for this project and if I didn't have the fan blowing on me it would have most likely stayed down and not been moving around like it is. But this has to be my favorite cut on any project. That last cut which releases the art from the wood um, just depending on the size of the project it can be a short outside cut, it can be a long outside cut. With this project it was one very long outside cut and which it gives a project character and it's just a fun project to do. I really enjoyed making this. I made this project in probably an hour and a half when I was out in the shop. But here we are about to get done. And when I come back to the pilot hole where I started, I'm actually going to cut through the wood. Now, it's okay to do that when you get done. But I don't recommend doing it when you start. Okay, all of my cutting is now complete on this project. I'm sure you've seen as soon as I got done with the cut, the fan kind of blowed this right off the project but there's the pattern I was going by here is the shark so let's just carefully and if my table was perfectly square it should just there you go should just rise up right out of there awesome now here is the benefit of stack cutting and I also got a surprise I have two identical projects to finish however I want and I also got a stencil. I love doing these. Anytime I do stack cutting I try to sandwich a piece of just regular dollar store poster board in between it, the wood, and that way when I cut I end up with a stencil and people ask me what I do with these. Well if I ever want to cut out another one I can just lay this on a piece of wood and trace around it and then I don't have to be running back and forth to the computer printing out patterns and just wasting ink when I can get a stencil here so I'll put this in a folder for later and I'm going to do some light sanding on these I will get them painted or stained I might leave one natural I love the natural look of wood but 
I think I'm going to hang one out here in the shop, and I think I'm going to hang one um, in the house. So I'm going to put a backer board on these and see how that is. But that's all for this project for right now. Um, keep an eye on my Instagram at Artisan Pirate, and you will see, eventually see the final project of this here. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you learned something about stack cutting. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, God bless.